Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, so it has been about four months <laughs> since I last uh, posted a video. Uh, my last uh, video is at six weeks. It's now been just over six months and probably uh, we're probably closer to seven months uh, than we are six months. Uh, wanted to do an update, had a handful of requests for that. Um, let you know where, where we're at right now and then uh, uh, you know we'll talk a little bit about um, diet and uh, what I'm eating and how I'm feeling and that kind of stuff. So just to kind of start out, let's do some stats. Um, as a refresher, I started out at 304 pounds. Uh, that was in uh, May of 2017. Um, I had surgery on May 27th. Um, I am currently, so that was 304 pounds, I'm um, currently at 201 pounds, so I've lost 103 pounds. Yeah, 103 pounds. Um, I, my body fat percentage at the time was a 40% body fat percentage, 28% uh, muscle mass. I'm now at 20% body fat and 39% uh, uh, muscle mass. Um, uh, I'm sure most of you have a scale. Um, you know, if you're going to go through this procedure, you probably want something that's a little uh, nicer. You know, they have all kinds of products out there that'll do your body fat percentage. Um, I'm using one that's called, um, uh, I think I bought it on Amazon. It's called Weight Gurus. Um, and it tracks and gives you bar charts of how much weight you've lost and tracks how much you've lost during the week and the month and overall. Um, you can set goals in there and it, you know, it tracks your progress and gives you percentages and stuff. But there's a bunch of them that all kind of do the same thing. Um, that's the one that I'm using to, uh, to do that. Um, I use MyFitnessPal um, on my phone to track my nutrient uh, intake, my protein, calcium, vitamins, all that uh, stuff, my carb count. Um, you know, the, uh, it's, you know, they have a free version that's been, been excellent. I think most people out there using that uh, app in some version or another. It's also really helpful to track your uh, hydration uh, intake, your water and uh, fluid intake. Um, you can go in there and add every time you have a drink and it'll get you, you know, and track up to where you, you need to be and, you know, if you're trying to be diligent there. Um, my blood pressure uh, before um, Losing the weight was uh, 145 over 85. I was pre-hypertension at the time. Now I'm 116 over 66, which sometimes I feel like, almost feeling like it can get a little low. <laughs> so I get a little, uh, you know, I get the Gatorade in me, a little bit of salt to try to uh, keep that close. But my blood pressure is amazing now. Um, my uh, uh, Shirt size used to be a triple XL when I had, uh, at the time of my surgery, um, I'm now wearing a, a medium t-shirt and that's kind of my new new size. Uh, I still have some large, if it's like a slim fit large, I can still fit into that. Um, I was a 44 waist, now I'm a 33. Um, again, it's been six months. Um, and uh, uh, so that's kind of where we're at there. Um, so again, about four months have gone by. Now, if you remember in that last video I talked, I was, you know, I was mentioning that I wasn't doing a whole lot of exercising. I might go walking once in a while, and at that time I kind of hit a stall um, in my uh, my progress. Um, and after making that video, the video was actually really helpful for me because I felt really guilty um, after I published that. Um, so I started walking um, immediately. It was like that same day. I went I went walking that night took the dog out and uh, I started walking every day, uh, six, you know, six, at least six out of seven days a week. Um, and I would walk about a mile and that would take about 20 minutes, you know, cause the dog wants to stop here and there. I probably could do it in about 15, but uh, she wants to stop. So I started walking and I do that every night and my wife was going with me at first. And then, um, you know, you, I was using uh, uh, Under Armour has a side app that goes kind of with my fitness pal and i think it's called my walk or something like that you'll if you pull up even my fitness pal it'll bring up some of these side apps and it maps out your walk and everything and so it was kind of spurring me on to do a little bit more because it was tracking my calories and i realized that walking one mile didn't burn a whole lot so i started walking two miles every night after about a week and then all of a sudden that turned into 
uh, closer to three miles. And then I started realizing, well, how much is a 5K? And so I started walking a 5K, um, probably three of those uh, five or six walks during the week. Um, but the problem with that, doing that 5K is it was taking, you know, I was only burning, you know, walking. And if you're kind of speed walking, um, I was only burning like 350, maybe 400 calories walking that 5K. And it was taking me an hour. Again, the dog likes to stop, sniff around a lot. I probably should be a, listen to that Caesar, Caesar, <laughs> the dog whisperer, and take better control of my dog and walk the dog instead of the dog walking me. But it, uh, um, it was taking me probably an hour and 15 minutes to get through that 5K, which is, uh, you know, a lot of us, uh, probably maybe even yourself included, a lot of us didn't get necessarily heavy um, because we had a, a ton of time to exercise. You know, it's like every minute counts. We just don't find the time. And so spending an hour and 15 minutes to only burn, you know, 400 calories was kind of a tough ask. Um, so uh, after about a month of doing that, um, I, uh, I have an elliptical runner that I've had for years and, and uh, have actually made pretty good use of it. Again, if you've watched my videos, you know that over the past few years, I've been able to lose a lot of weight. You know, uh, I've been able to lose 50 pounds in three or four months before, but uh, it was always that hunger thing. So um, I went back to my elliptical and I started running about 40, initially about 40 minutes. And 40 minutes at my previous weight, you know, was burning, you know, six, 700 calories, which was much better. I was getting a lot more bang for my buck. And then, uh, you know, as the weight starts coming off, one thing that uh, I noticed is exercise just became so much easier. Um, and it actually became um, something I started to enjoy because it, uh, you know, after I, I'm a night exerciser, I don't like to get up first thing in the morning at 5.30 a.m., but I'd come home from work and work stressful and you get on there and you kind of run off, you know, the endorphins kick in and you feel better. Um, so I started upping that from 40 minutes to 45 to 50. Um, right now I'm running um, about an hour um, a day. Um, I do that at least five days a week. Um, and I'm burning about seven, 800 calories still doing that. Um, and I have to be really careful about making sure my hydration's high and that I get my calories probably a little higher than uh, what our nutritionist um, is recommending because I just end up way, you know, with the diet that we typically are on, um, I just come in so far under calories that uh, um, your body starts going into starvation mode and I'm tired and so I've got to keep my calories up. Um, but anyway, exercising is key. Um, to, you know, if you're going to go through weight loss surgery and you think about the money you're going to invest in, in that and why you're doing this, and we're doing this because we want our health to be um, better. And I don't think most of us are afraid of working out. What we're afraid of is working out, doing it all, and then gaining it all back. And, you know, with this tool, hopefully, um, and in my case, the vertical sleeve hysterectomy, um, I'm hoping it'll help with that hunger and I can uh, continue a much better diet um, moving forward, you know. Uh, so um, doing everything I can to just burn off, you know, to get down to my goal, my target weight. Again, I'm, I'm 201 right now. My target weight is actually about 190. Um, I see myself probably pushing that to about 185. I'm six foot two, um, but again, um, uh, I'm kind of at a point now where I'm actually feeling really good and I'm not focusing so much on it, but I am continuing my workouts. I'm eating, um, a little bit more. Um, but, uh, maybe we'll jump into that. So what am I eating right now? Um, I start every single day off with, uh, a premier protein shake. Um, you've probably heard if you've watched my other videos, I, I talk about them because they're, they're fantastic. Um, Compared to most other protein shakes, a lot of the other protein shakes are just full of protein and they don't have a lot of vitamins and nutrients in them. Premier Protein and I think Muscle Milk's the other one. Muscle Milk's a bit more expensive and they come in the bottles, but Premier Protein comes in those little um, those little foil pack rectangular um, uh, shake boxes. Um, you know, you buy them at Costco in the 18 or 24 packs and they uh, um, are very affordable 
and uh, they will make, you know, each one shake has like 50% of your calcium in it. I still supplement with calcium, but it's got a ton of vitamins and nutrients in it. Um, and when I drink them, I feel really, really good, especially like when you're working out or just after a workout, it's a really good recovery um, product that will give you a lot of nutrients. So I drink that first thing in the morning. And with that, I take a bariatric advantage uh, multivitamin capsule um, uh, with their particular dosage. It's three a day, but I take one of those. I take a B vitamin supplement, a biotin supplement, and a calcium supplement. And then I still take my omeprazole, which I'll probably take for the entire first year. So I got six more uh, months to go on that, and maybe I'll keep doing it. We'll see how I feel. I haven't had any um, acid reflux. You know, that's a big risk. Um, even if uh, uh, the doctor I used was uh, Dr. Elon um, in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. But uh, while he does, the way he does the procedure um, reduces that risk drastically, you could still have it. It's sometimes you just, you get lucky and some people don't. Um, but I haven't had any um, acid reflux, which has been fantastic. I have less now than I did before I had the sleeve. And I know that's a big concern of people. So take that into consideration. Uh, Dr. Alon is amazing um, at how he performs the procedure and does everything he can to reduce the risk of having uh, acid reflux. But uh, I keep taking the omeprazole to make sure I don't develop that because uh, uh, it's not something I want to have a problem with. Um, let's see. So that's breakfast, um, a shake and a handful of vitamins. It, uh, when it comes to, to lunch, um, you know, I try to stay low carb, um, as best I can. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I stick to a lot of Costco-y kinds of things, even though I'm at the office. Um, we have a freezer there and I keep a few things in it. I like things like uh, meatballs and you can, you can take meatballs, like just a bag of meatballs and you can do all kinds of things with it. You can put chili sauce on it. I'll buy little packets of, uh, like curry at like your local, you know, whatever your local, like Safeway or Kroger, a grocery store, they all have different names depending on what part of the, the country you're in. But I'll buy like coconut curry and Thai uh, seasonings and I'll basically just simmer meatballs and those are microwave meatballs with a little bit of these uh, different uh, sauces. And I can eat about, you know, four to six meatballs. It gives me some protein. Um, you know, I eat salads, uh, soups. Um, uh, I like things that have a few carbs, especially if you're exercising a lot, you're going to need more carbs or you're going to feel kind of crappy all the time. So I try to get good carbs in. I try to avoid breads. Um, but, uh, you know, for example, um, I think it's Sam's Club or Costco. I kind of go to both. They have like these, it's called BB Goes, but they're, uh, they're almost like little miniature pot stickers, but they have like a chicken and cilantro, you know, and it's got kind of a rat, you know, a, you know, like a pot sticker, um, Asian, you know, uh, dumpling kind of wrap on it. And there's a few carbs in there. But, you know, you can eat, and these are miniature, they're not like the full-size ones, but you can eat like nine of these things. Um, each one's probably smaller than a shrimp. Um, and uh, put them, dip them in a little bit of like a Thai chili sauce or something. Um, and uh, I think they're like two, 300 calories. So I stay in my calorie count, keep my carbs still relatively low. I'm avoiding breads, but you're getting a few in there to give you the energy you need. If you're not exercising, you're going to want to keep that calories to the, you know, I think in my case it was like, you know, less than 40 per day. I'm going over that now, but it's again, if you're burning off 800 to a thousand calories a day exercising, you've got to, um, get a little bit of something, um, in there. Um, and I could be wrong. Um, again, I've lost over hundred pounds in six months. I think it's working for me. Um, the nutritionist might tell you something different. Um, but again, chili, grilled chicken, salad, frozen meatballs, um, let's see, chicken wings. Um, sometimes if I, uh, if I start, if my hydration starts getting off, again, I, I do some weird stuff. You know, I add salt into my diet. Uh, I talked about liquid diet, how I used to like to go to my Vietnamese restaurant and get uh, pho. I still do that. Um, and I eat a little bit of the rice noodles, but that uh, pho is really salty. And so it gets in your system and helps kind of get your um, blood pressure up just a little bit to where you don't get like the dizzies or any of that stuff. And I'll talk about that a little bit in a minute too. Um, but uh, the other thing is I eat those rice noodles, even though I probably shouldn't. Again, pay attention to your nutritionist, but because I'm exercising a lot, I eat the rice noodles, but they fill me up really fast and I want to be 
I, w I don't want to over uh, eat. And so when you get some of these little starchy carbs in you, and again, this is a fully saturated rice noodle. You know, you hear people getting sick when they eat things like rice. If it's fully saturated, it's not going to expand in your stomach too much. So it's in a soup. So um, I feel really good when I eat it. I just eat, you know, a few bites of the the noodles with the some of the broth and I get full pretty quick and I feel good really low calorie good for hydration um, but uh, anyway that's what I enjoy for lunch when I get to dinner I basically go back to my uh, my fitness pal and I look at what my protein count is for the day to see what I've I've uh, eaten if I haven't gotten enough protein I typically typically I'm gonna have another premier protein shake to make sure I hit about I'm targeting a little higher I try to hit at least uh, 90 to, to about 100 um, on my uh, protein count. Um, if I've hit my protein or I'm closer, I'll probably eat whatever um, me or my wife make for the kids. Um, sometimes there's carbs in there. You know, she's making enchiladas or Mexican food or burritos or something. I actually eat that. Probably shouldn't. Don't care. Um, <laughs> because I need some of those carbs. Um, and they, and again, when I eat those things, they fill me up pretty quick and I don't make myself sick. I just eat till I'm a little bit full and maybe do one more bite. Um, just enough that I'm not uncomfortable and then I call it. Um, but, uh, always make sure I get my, my protein in, uh, try to keep my carbs low, but not non-existent is I'm definitely not on a, what I would call an Atkins diet. Um, so let's see. Um, let me talk about eating and uh, I want you to, I'm going to put a disclaimer here first. You should always talk to your nutritionist and uh, if you're going to eat anything outside of the carbohydrate and protein guidance that they give you, you should discuss that with them or know that you're exercising enough to kind of burn it off. Um, I started getting kind of some dizzy stuff going on because I was, I think I was working out too heavy and not eating enough and then I don't think my hydration levels were right. So it was a combination of, I think, uh, low blood blood pressure, low blood sugar, and um, uh, I think I said hydration carbs um, going on. So when I had talked to uh, the nutritionist for uh, Bariatric Pal, um, she said you might need a few more carbs. Um, so I'm doing that. But don't do that on your own. Make sure you're talking to your uh, doctor, nutritionist, to make sure you're getting um, what you need. Avoid bad habits. Avoid greasy foods and you know, all the stuff. So there's the disclaimer um, before I tell you the terrible things that I've done. Um, I've read a lot of things about people that they get sick eating things like rice and bread and things like that. Um, there, there's a, a, I don't talk about it as much as maybe some do on the, the forums, but I am, I am a no shame kind of a person. Um, I don't, uh, for myself uh, personally, I, I have no intention of going to a uh, diet where um, I'm restricted from eating uh, certain types of foods. I certainly will eat them with a very uh, thoughtful um, moderation. Um, so, for example, a couple of those things um, uh, you hear about pizza. You know, people are scraping cheese off of pizza. Um, I've eaten pizza. Let me put it, as, you know, the, give it the honesty here, though. I've eaten pizza twice in uh, probably since the four-month mark. Um, and keep in mind, I would avoid any type of like bread, carbohydrate, that kind of the stuff you hear people talking about till you're at least past four months, uh, maybe three months. Um, but I wouldn't even touch it and I didn't touch it until that point. Um, but, uh, since then, you know, it's like, I'll have a slice, you know, again, it's only been a couple times in a couple of months, but a slice of thin crust, uh, pizza again, not no carb. It's still plenty of carbs. You know, a thin crust pizza pizza does a bunch, but uh, it's not as bad as some big thick crust Chicago style pizza. It doesn't make me sick. I can eat that piece. I'm gonna feel comfortably uh, full, um, and I'm gonna stop, and that's all I'm gonna eat. Um, but uh, some people are just like, don't go back to bad habits. You know what? A thin crust pizza pizza for me. You look at the caloric content of that, it's going to be, you know, 300, 350 calories, depending on what's on it. Could be less, could be more, depends on what that crust is made of and how thick it is and how much butter they put in it and all that kind of stuff. But um, 
it, uh, I'm okay with that once in a while and I'm still losing weight and it's still working. In fact, sometimes when I throw in a piece of bread or something like that, it screws with my metabolism a little bit because it's not used to those heavy carbohydrates. And I actually go through these little shifts where I lose more when I shift around. Now, you certainly do not want to be eating pizza every day and you don't want to be eating bread every day. Um, so again, r caution and moderation. If you do that, you're going to put the weight back on. Um, pasta, you know, I'll have a, if my wife makes pasta, you know, for the kids and herself, um, I might actually have just a couple of bites, but then I'll call it and I'll do a protein shake for the rest. Um, I enjoy having just little bits of things that are pretty normal, um, and have plenty of carbs in them, but I just eat a little bit, um, and enjoy just a little bit and just take it for what it is. I'm not going to shame myself and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Um, but I'm going to eat those things and very seldomly, just a little bit, and uh, again, with very deliberate moder moderation in, in how I consume those um, items. Uh, rice, I've tried rice. Um, I think the people who are getting sick are people who are eating a lot of rice. Um, I, uh, you know, I typically eat rice when it's in a soup, and again, it's fully saturated. It's not going to expand. Um, I love Indian food. It's one of my favorite things, and my wife and I will go get you know, a single dish of Indian food, and, you know, I'll take my butter chicken or chicken tikka masala or whatever it is, and I'll put the chicken and sauce on it, and I'll just touch my fork on the rice and just get a little bit in there. Because, again, I know that there's a bunch of carbs there. I don't really care to have those in my diet in large quantities, but I just want a little bit of that um, texture and everything else. And, again, I don't feel guilty about that because um, I think I'm doing it the right way. It's not a big plate of rice or a bowl of rice. It's just a little bit. Um, so again, you have to, to use moderation. Rice has not made me sick. Um, bread has not made me sick. I've actually had a big, you know, like a slice of French bread with butter on it. Um, and, uh, didn't make me sick at all. In fact, uh, some of the first breads I had was a couple months ago, you know, the, in the office, they, they bring in Jimmy John sometimes for lunch meetings. And, uh, I had probably a third of like a, you know, if you guys know it, like they're not their club sandwiches, not the bigger sandwiches. They're still an eight inch, but the smaller without all the stuff on there, a little lighter. And I can eat a third of a Jimmy John sandwich with the bread and everything. And that was actually one of my best weight loss weeks when I started eating these because I was filling up quickly and I felt content and I wasn't snacking or anything else. Um, again, sometimes carbs are nice to shake things up, but again, you have to be, if you're going to do that, you got to be exercising and doing all the right things too. Um, let's see. Um, how do I feel? Um, is another question I get asked. Um, I feel amazing. Um, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to do a second video, um, where I'm going to, uh, it was, uh, something I wrote actually for a, a video that I have yet to make. Um, that is the, uh, uh, my list of side effects. Um, some of you who were part of the bariatric, uh, pal, uh, Facebook group, um, have seen it because I, I wrote it on there. Uh, but I actually wrote it to make a video and then I just decided to post it in text form, uh, for that group, just my notes on it. Um, but, uh, we're going to talk about, um, uh, some of the side effects and, and how amazing uh, you feel after having lost a lot of weight. And I would say once, once I got to um, about the 50 pound down mark, like things in my life changed substantially, uh, which would be after, probably shortly after the last video I made four months ago. Um, that first 50 went a lot faster than the second 50. But uh, you really start to feel great and just the things you're able to do and the way you feel and like not being winded and all kinds of things, just, you feel amazing. Um, I will say when I don't, uh, get enough fluids, um, I don't feel good. Um, fluids is everything. Fluids is key to losing weight. I'll stall if I'm not drinking a hundred ounces, 90 ounces of fluid per day. Um, again, I'm six foot two. Um, I think I, um, I need maybe more fluids than most I found. Um, I need to supplement electrolytes as well. Um, if I just drink 90 ounces of water, I don't do, I get a little dizzy and you'll read about these, these gray outs where people feel like they're going to pass out. Um, I've had that probably worse than a lot of people. Um, and it is not difficult to overcome. And that is not a side effect, a true side effect of the surgery. 
um, you have to remember that you're not getting the car the uh, hydration from your food that you used to because you don't eat as much um, you have to consume a lot more fluids and so you've got to be just religious about uh, drinking the right amount of fluids and you've got to get some electrolytes in there if you're not you know getting enough of that in your diet um, so I started using uh, I don't like the flavor of a lot of the artificial sweeteners that's in a lot of a lot of drinks but I found that uh, uh, Propel it's a Gatorade product it's a zero calorie and there's some vitamins and electrolytes in there it's not as strong that uh, you know it is kind of has some artificial sweetener stuff in it but it's really light and I can drink those and again I feel really 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 good uh, if I'm getting all that in um, I have to get a few extra carbs in we've talked about that I'm not gonna beat a dead horse but anyway I feel great I can everything in my life has improved like just from going on airplanes to um, running to a meeting to not being sweaty all the time anymore I don't perspire unless I'm exercising um, there's so many great things um, about this uh, transition in my life and how I feel now and um, I don't remember ever being in as good a shape the last time I was probably in as good, this good a shape as when I was 10 years old um, I've been obese my entire life um, and uh, you know your confidence levels go up um, but there's some weird stuff that goes on there too that I'm going to talk about in that next video um, it's fantastic um, I uh, uh, if you're considering this, you know, there's a keep doing your research, keep reading. But uh, anyway, there's my update for uh, how things are going right now um, after six months. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, and uh, appreciate it. Day two till next time. Bye bye.